please welcome Paul Perrault. Well, good evening, and thank you, Geraldine, and um, welcome, distinguished guest, uh, Governor DeSalle, uh, Minister Hunt. We really appreciate all of you coming here this evening to celebrate this fantastic uh, landmark 100-year anniversary. I told people, thank you for coming. We don't do it that often. It's uh, like once every 100 years. So it's, uh, it's really great that we could all get together and share in this, because I really view CSL as a family, and if you look at the history of what's happened with CSL, truly it has been an endeavor of very large amounts of people with different skills and expertise. And we know that as families, we all have people that came from really the same types of upbringings, and yet they're very different people, right? So we, we all take a look and we say, what are the skills, where are the best areas for people to grow, and we really make that happen. But I have to say that uh, it is difficult to follow the speakers we had tonight. Um, you know, Minister Hunt quoting uh, all sorts of uh, great literature, which I probably won't do, uh, but it was very inspiring. And uh, certainly, Sir Gus Nozzle, uh, a great uh, a way to talk about the history of the company and the story that comes with it. Uh, my chairman, John Shine, who uh, always is an eloquent and uh, very good speaker. And of course, Brian, uh, who I admire greatly as, a, as a, somebody that has really driven the company and left me uh, with a very uh, honorable position uh, to take this company into the future. So I appreciate all of the help that's come through there. But it is a bit of a hard act to follow, and I'm standing between you and dancing, so I'll try to move it along. So we have spent a lot of time tonight celebrating the history of CSL and this wonderful company. And as I said, I do consider myself very, very fortunate, and I am humbled to, to lead this organization. There are so many great people, many of my staff here tonight, uh, as well as my, my directors and certainly my chairman that are all very supportive of what we're trying to do in the future. But I have to say the future is still dependent on many of the basics that we started with CSL. And what that means is research and development and bringing these products translationally to patients that need them around the world. And so we are committed to maintaining excellence in Australian research. And we know that much of that depends on, as Brian pointed out, education. And we are longtime supporters of science and education in schools here in Australia, the universities, and I'd like to introduce you to some of the young scientists who have made a short video. So please take a look at this video. Science to me is a way where we can communicate um, on a universal level. I think science means helping people. The science is really the future of the country. So. We, we should absolutely uh, inspire young generation to study science and to dedicate themselves to, to the science. My name's Niala. I'm 20 years old. I've just started my Masters of Biotechnology. And this year I am specialising in genetics. I was involved with the scientists in the school program. I was part of the National Youth Science Forum. The Undergraduates Research Opportunities Program. I was awarded one of the 2015 CSL Bearing Professor Heimberger Awards. I was awarded We High CSL Fellowship in Bioinformatics. I went to the science experiment to make slime. I think that an interest in science comes from when you're young. So these youth programs, they're incredibly important to be able to instill that interest, instill that passion from a young age so that that develops and becomes careers that are inevitably world changing. Oh, it's given me a lot more interest in science. I have met many people that are passionate about what they do and I've seen things that these people have done and it's made me want to contribute to that society as well and be a part of it. Science is, you know, it's a very powerful way of looking at the world and um, more importantly it's just really interesting and I feel really lucky that I can, you know, do something that I really love, you know, every day. Not many people can say that. How important is science? Is that even a question? Well, very important. Really, really super doodles important. 
So many aspects of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis are enriched and enhanced by science. It's all-encompassing and there's really something in it for everyone. Oh, it was such an amazing opportunity for me. I am really grateful that I got to work with CSL. I learnt so much and met so many awesome people. When I finish, I'd really love to go into renewable uh, sciences. Well, I want to be an army scientist. Hopefully focusing on plant biochemistry. Microbiology and immunology. A bit. Clinical genetics. Therapeutics with genome editing. Probably to go off and do a postdoc overseas. When I grow up, I want to be a ninja scientist. My wish is every patient will get access to genomic testing to get their disease better treated. I wish for um, the eradication of you know, neglected tropical diseases like malaria. To be able to tackle mental illness, particularly in youth, for people to have a better understanding of what science can achieve for us. For there to be no wars ever again, cure cancers. In the future, I hope medical science will be able to provide accessible, safe medical treatment to anyone who needs it, no matter where they are in the world. My name is Matthias. Michael. Charlie. Riley. Lachlan. Wei Shu. Megan. Taylor. Kashani. Eva. My name is Ashwini. And I'm just getting started. 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 So that's why I say that our future is so bright. We see our support for the schools and the young people starting out on a scientific career as part of a development pipeline. But we also want to extend our support to those individuals who are already at a world-class research level. Tonight, tonight, I am very pleased to announce the establishment of the CSL Centenary Fellowship Program, a $25 million commitment from CSL. The intent of the CSL Centenary Fellowships will be to foster excellence in medical research. They will support mid-career Australian scientists to pursue world-class research right here in Australia. Commencing this year, we will award two five-year fellowships each year for 10 years. The fellowships will provide $250,000 per year or $1.25 million per fellowship. They will be primarily awarded for early stage and translational research with a focus on rare and serious conditions in immunology and inflammation. Fellows must be Australian citizens or residents and they must be intending to work in Australia at an Australia research institution. The fellows will be chosen by a selection committee and I am delighted tonight to announce that a highly respected molecular biologist Professor Ashley Dunn, who's here with us this evening, has agreed to chair the Fellowship Selection Committee. Thank you, Ashley. Very, uh, very, very important job that you have that we've asked you to do. Looking back at those budding scientists in the video, I am pondering the prediction that I've seen in some of the media that the child has already been born that could live 150 years. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but I have to say that it's hard to imagine back in 1916 what science would look like 100 years from now. And I imagine if we look even 20, 30, 50, or 100 years from now, where we'll be. But it'll start with the scientists that we have here today and the budding scientists that we're going to support in the future. And that is why it's really exciting to be at CSL today. Any company which survives and prospers for 100 years is agile. And you've heard many people talk about that agility and the movement and strategy and optionality that the company has gone through. But that's true now more than it has been ever. So while a lot has changed since uh, 1916, and you heard Professor Shine talk about the fact that we used to have medicines that we brought from the world to Australia, and now we take medicines from Australia and take them to the world. I think that is a true change and shift that CSL has been able to accomplish, and it has really been a phenomenal way for us to continue to grow. We've evolved into a company 
that really does care about the patients that we serve. Because at the end of the day, without patients, why are we doing the work? Why are we doing the research? Why are we really making that happen? You also heard that we spent close to $800 million this coming year, Australian, in R&D. That's because we have to continue to drive innovation. And innovation does cost money, but we have never, as Brian said, given up on that. We have to keep the science moving. And innovation is at the heart of what we do at CSL. And you heard this in different areas. It's not just innovation in science. It's innovation in how we operate, how we work, how we bring people together. You can innovate in your job every day no matter what you do. We tend to only think of innovation in terms of science. But it's the thinking, it's the insight that you bring to your jobs that we can innovate on. And we expect that from everyone at CSL. As Sir Gus mentioned, I was delighted only a month ago to announce that our global hub for research and translational medicine housed at the University of Melbourne's Bio21 Institute, and that we will be doubling the number of research scientists over the coming years that will be based there. Again, extremely excited about our ability to continue to tr contribute to the science and innovation that we have. We're intending to use that new Bio21 facility as an expanded base for collaborations both in Australia and other parts of the world. I hope that will include many of you in this room tonight. CSL does truly believe that Australia's medical research community is world class. It is a rich source of potential new discoveries to really address the world's unmet medical needs. And with Bio21 and the Centenary Fellowships, we're clearly putting our money where our mouth is. CSL is now a global biotherapeutics leader, employing over 16,000 people and providing life-saving, life-extending, life-changing biotherapies to people in more than 60 countries. Our investments in early-stage research are about ensuring we have a robust pipeline. So we have new products to launch this year, next year, and a decade from now. We're very fortunate that something in the lab at Bio21 today might be in a patient 15 years from now, because that's about how long it's going to take from the bench to the patient. This year, CSL is launching onto our global markets various recombinant therapies, and you heard uh, the minister talk a little bit about Adelvion, our factor IX fusion protein, and soon to come, Afstila, our factor VIII recombinant product for hemophilia A. And I have to say that this is a big step change for CSL into really the biotech space. So plasma continues to be a growth driver and a sustainable force for us well into the future, but we have to continue the innovation. So it is exciting, and, and many in this room had heard about these products during the course of their tenure at CSL, and all of you that I've talked to tonight that are here celebrating with us have also been very excited because you played a part in helping to support those therapies coming to fruition. And the transformation for CSL as a manufacturer from its early history into the innovation of today is really here what we're celebrating. Because we can't just rest on that 100 years of growth, trials, tribulations, success. We have to continue to move it forward. So in closing tonight, I would like to thank everyone that's here tonight joining us. It really is a fantastic venue. It's great that you could all join us here this evening. And it is amazing that many of you in this room, and I would say all of you that have been invited here tonight, had some helping hand in helping to build this amazing company. And I do give you a heartfelt thanks from all of us at CSL. This milestone is a testament to you, it's a testament to our science, and it's a testament to our people and the patients that we served yesterday, today, and tomorrow. CSL may be 100 years old, but we are truly just getting started. I do want to thank, I could go through and thank everyone in the room by name, but we would miss the dancing. Uh, but I, I have done that in general. I do want to thank a couple of people uh, and pull them out because this was really a big effort to pull off. And I would say that uh, even though she told me not to thank her, I will thank Sharon McHale for the work that she did on this. Sorry, Sharon, but thank you. 
Maria Picos, who really was right there with Sharon just driving this. A force on her own, I have to say. Maria really gets things done, as everybody does at CSL. And the bunch group. So thanks a bunch for that. That's fantastic. That really helped us with this event. So again, we are just getting started, and uh, the evening is still uh, moving on, so we will move on from here. And thank you again for joining us. It's a great evening. Please enjoy the rest of the night.